go back to him? I said, uh, well, us women, we can be still sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, he was just teasing me. Because us women, we love to, you know, we are not, you know, it's hard for us to be still. We're a mother. God put that in us. Amen. To be, uh, you know, busy about his work, about our family work, about our everyday work, you know. That's how God, but that's the reason he has to remind us. He says, my people, Amen. be still. Amen. Amen.
One day, mother was having a terrible time uh, physically, just hurting so bad in all of her body. And they, that nurse, that nurse came, and she, she, my dad began teaching my that nurse how to pray, and she already uh, <clears throat> was going to another church, and so my dad was furthering Bible studies with her, the oneness message. And so as they began praying, four hours, my dad and mom said, that that nurse was there and they were all praying together. Wow. That wouldn't have happened wow. if it had not happened for this situation yes. for my mother. Yes. But here she is opening up right there. You know, people are coming to her place. And she, they are in return being a witness to those people in their community. And I said, thank you. And you know, my mother, she said, you know, if for no other reason that I have to go through this, but for the salvation of these nurses. It's worth it. It's worth it. Even though my body is hurting from top to bottom, it's worth it. And I said, Lord, help me to have that kind of faith and that kind of determination all the way to my dying days to say, Lord, if it's for the salvation of that nurse, of that doctor, of that neighbor, Lord God, if I must suffer cancer, Lord Jesus, for your sake, I will in Jesus' name. Amen. And so I'm so, and of course, my mother's so excited that God is moving in those nurses' lives. They love to come to my parents' home. Why? Because they feel the Spirit of God. Yes. It's the Spirit yes. of God. Yes. But if my parents, Hallelujah. if they were not still, if they did not be still, yes. and if they just tried to work it all out, and if they just tried to uh, run to the doctors all the time, no, maybe they would not have this chance. But God knows your life. Amen. Is Amen. We're not in control. We're not in control. But she, anyway, she's doing much better. She has down days and up days. You know, cancer's there. But uh, God, He knows the right time. Amen. Amen. And so when we got ready to leave, she goes, "Now I feel peace." She says, "Before I could not let you go, but I feel peace now." I said, thank you, Jesus, because that's what I pray. Amen. I said, Lord, I want my mother to feel peace before I leave to go over because I don't know when I'll get to see her. I actually, we really said our last goodbyes here on earth. Yes. Here on earth. But in heaven. Amen. In heaven. We're going to be together. Amen.
many times we talk we pray and 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 we think we're doing the right thing because we're just always talking and talking and praying. But the Lord said, be still. And I started listening to him. And when I was listening to him, he showed me a vision of his hand, not my hand, his hand upon Hong Kong. Thank you, Jesus. And you may be seated. 